I was having a conversation with a guy recently, and he mentioned he wanted a recommendation from me. He heard I was some kinda anime dude. Joke's on you, buddy. The anime dude lives in Australia. Or Japan, maybe. Oh. Wait, no, actually, it's this guy. Never mind, I don't know this man. But I asked him, hey, okay, what have you seen? He said, My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball, One Piece on Netflix, and then started watching the anime. But his friend, in particular, had recommended him Evangelion, Lane, and Angel's Egg. His friends quote, You are not a real anime fan until you've watched any of those. All right, you, motherfucker, you. I am addressing that friend in particular. What the actual fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I went on a quest recently to begin watching and re-watching all of the monoliths of anime culture. This is one of them. I'd always heard of Angel's Egg and hushed tones of, oh, it's a classic, but it's crazy, so weird, etc. So I sat my ass down, put on my layman ass cap, and reminded myself that the last time I watched this, I was stoned out of my mind and nothing stuck with me. And then I realized I probably just downloaded the torrent and never actually watched the actual thing, because 20-year-old stone me could not have handled this shit. The first 25 minutes of this movie, I kid you not, is just this little bitch running around and finding glass jars and putting water into them, and I wouldn't lie, I was absolutely fucking absorbed into the world of this film, but I am going to keep it real with you, Chief. This is one of the most beautiful and absolute dog shit films I've seen in my entire life. Mamoru Oshii? More like... Mamoru oh shit. It's not that good. I, I'm that that's I apologize for that joke. Anyway, imagine if someone came up to you and was just like this film is fucking art, you degenerate. And that's the movie. That's the entire movie. It's bait. It's literally allegorical bait. There is barely a plot. Girl, girl with egg. Girl leave with egg. Girl find round glass jars and fill with water. Girl find boy. Boy pursue then protect girl from weird fish hunt sequence. Boy and girl return to girl home. Boy recite Noah's Ark fan fiction in front of fossil. I wish I was making up that part. Girl go bed. Boy break egg in night. Girl cry. Girl die. Egg. Boy look at this bullshit and then it was all about that's it. That's the entirety of Angel's Egg in one paragraph. I'm not paraphrasing. The only funny bit was the wording. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not joking. That's the entire plot of the film. The vast majority of quote-unquote storytelling is done environmentally and artistically, showing a sprawling gothic city and implying that this place that the two are traversing had some sort of history and civilization. I mean this in probably the only actual way that this makes sense, and not the way that people think it makes sense. This is the Dark Souls of anime films. There are a lot of questions you will be left with, such as, why girl drink water only out of glass beaker? Why is there still preserved food? Where did this civilization come from? What are these biomechanical tanks doing? What are the fishermen dudes doing? Who is this dude? What is his intent? Why is he staring so much? It's weird. How come I cannot parry this boss to save my fucking life? Dark Souls, that's it. Discomfort is a theme that I wrote down. To be fair though, I do write down a lot of words by themselves when I write a script and then connect them at the end to make sense of everything. Here's the list that I made for this one. Excess. Stillness. Discomfort, judging intent, reflection, the odd eldritch parts of nature, environmental storytelling, how is she surviving, why did she leave, water, fish scene a metaphor for war and collateral damage, what if Salvador Dali and H.R. Geiger just had the most fucked up looking baby. I did not finish this process with this film because it became sadly one dimensional at a certain point and it sort of gives away that there is no overarching storyline or thing to digest here. It's sadly as simple as the paragraph that I gave. The problem in trying to apply any sort of analysis or review to Angel's Egg is that so much of it is up to allegory and interpretation that giving your own personal viewpoint essentially means nothing as part of this might mean something different to someone else. I personally find the whole thing to be something of a metaphor for the disconnection from religion and losing the innocence of youth but that that's about as much as I'm going to pull from this bullshit, and I know any more detail is just going to attract the video essay crowd. And that is not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep this under like seven minutes. However, the film itself is gorgeous visually, some of the most ethereal and bleak imagery I have ever seen, as well as some of the most unsettling direction out of an animation I have ever seen. When the film started, I was checking my headphones trying to make sure that I didn't screw up the audio or that my headphones were turned off, but nope, that's just how the movie starts, completely silent, focusing on a pair of hands. There's one particular sequence before what you could call the climax of the film that some would say goes on way too long, but I found fascinating. It holds on a single frame with some minimal fire animation for what feels like five minutes, but with what the film has given you so far, it leaves you so uncomfortable that you cannot help but be drawn in and held wrapped as the fire slowly 
runs away. But that brings me back to my diagnosis. I generally just did not like my time with Angel's Egg. I spoke of it with a friend, and it reminded us both of the movie Mother, where you get like, the whole thing is stupid. But the takeaway is that you definitely regard it as an incredibly well-made and well-directed film. For me, what I would ultimately describe it as is a visual mystery with no solution. Or, to summarize, an ornately filigreed, but ultimately empty, goose egg. Oh yeah, and fuck that guy who recommended this to a dude who watched My Hero Academia. What is literally wrong with you? This video is brought to you by Audible. If you'd like a free trial and want to listen to my audiobook, I have a link to both of those in the description of this video. Also, if you would like to try to purchase a copy of Angel's Egg, I do have a link for that one as well, but I'd only recommend that for those financially able to do so. It is like a hundred dollars. Thanks guys. Bye bye